Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you on how to create a binary star system in Space Engine. It will be exciting. So, here's what you're going to need. First, your notepad or any code editor you prefer. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code since it's easier for me to organize the code we're going to use. Second, you need to find the type of stars that you want to put in your binary star system. You can randomly select or explore in Space Engine to find your stars which will be exported later in the process. Lastly, a code for your star barycenter. In other words, a point around where two objects orbit. So first, Export your selected stars by going to the menu. Tools, then, click Export Planet Script. Next, open your notepad or the code editor you prefer. Now the next step is, you need to imagine where in the sky you would want to place your binary star system and the type of stars you're going to use. For this one, you can use Stellarium for web to easily identify your desired coordinates for your star system. For me, I'll place my binary star system in the constellation of Orion and the stars I'm going to use is a pair of, one red giant and a blue subgiant. Here's the fun part. We'll create a star barycenter code so that the two stars will orbit it. The parameters we're going to use and edit are, star class name, right ascension, declination, and distance. The unit of distance space engine is using is in parsec. You can multiply the parsec value by 3.262 to know its value in light years. You'll enjoy this part for sure. The next thing we're going to do, is to make the stars orbit the star barycenter we've created earlier. To begin, we're going to use the exported star codes from Space Engine. Once you've got your star codes, open a blank file in your text editor. Then paste it to your blank file. Next, the parameters we're going to edit are, star name, parent body, and orbit. You can change the other parameters later. We're now going to edit the star name, and the parent body. You may notice that under the orbit class, I've already changed the value of the parameters in order for it to orbit the barycenter properly. Don't worry, I'll provide the script in the description. Then, we need to change some of the parameters under the orbit class. Are you still with me? Good. After editing the parameters, save the star barycenter file into your space engine slash add-ons slash catalogs slash stars. Next is save the star files into your space engine slash add-ons slash catalogs slash planets. In this format, space engine will detect the star barycenter file we've created as a single star while searching it using the star browser. The stars are needed to be saved inside the planet's catalog in order for it to be detected by the application and orbit the star barycenter correctly. <laughs> 